We are at the SHIFT exhibition, Environmentally Responsible Print Practice at the McMaster Museum of Art. And this is Brianna Palmer. I'm Judy Major Gerard, the two adjudicators and curators for the exhibition. And this exhibition is actually a kind of snapshot of where uh, one trajectory of printmaking is today. And it's people who are committed to more sustainable kind of practices. So it's a very wide ranging uh, sampling of things that people are doing at people are at all different stages some using very low-tech means and at the beginning of thinking about the environment in connection with their practice and other people who are exploring uh, more kind of cutting-edge technologies so it's sort of everything in between it's not meant to say that this is the final word on sustainability and printmaking it really is just a moment in time um, this is a long-term commitment it's technologies and practice changes every day in this in this field and so it's a long-term commitment to um, exploring this as a, on a continuing basis to see if we can improve our footprint uh, with regards to studio practice. Right now it's in a really great connection we have a class going on um, in last semester in printmaking that used big grounds a lot of the works here will showcase uh, the use of big grounds and we have um, ZMAs coming to demo the big grounds for other people that might be interested and this semester we're doing a class on stone lithography which is traditionally known to use a lot of volatile chem chemicals um, and now we have replaced those with what is called estesol. So um, you will be able to see how we can use uh, the estesol to really remove most of the chemical process except for the small amount of nitric acid that we use to to etch the stones. So we would like to thank the McMaster Museum of Art for hosting this exhibition and for all their support in putting it on and helping publicize this event and also our symposium which will be happening at the School of the Arts in February which will bring a number of people in to do workshops um, and expand on, on the exhibition. And also we would like to thank Forward with Integrity, um, the President's grant for funding initiatives within uh, McMaster which has supported this project.